And secondly, um, the president invited his son Hunter to the state dinner last night. Um, I'm wondering if you could take us into the thinking and decision making of why uh, the president decided to invite I, I'm just not going to get into family discussion, personal family discussion. As you know, Hunter is his son. I'm just not going to get into it. Let me ask you this. If, if Hunter Biden wasn't the president's son, would he have invited someone who had just reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors well, two days earlier? Well, a couple of things. Again, that's his son. It's a, he's a family member. It is not uncommon for family members to attend uh, events at the White House. You could look at past presidents. I'm sure you have. So that is not uncommon. Uh, as it relates to anything uh, uh, related to, uh, to Hunter, I'm just not going to respond to it from here. Can I follow up on that? Okay. No, I just called in somebody. Go ahead. Yeah. So, but I mean, so Kirby wouldn't answer James's question, though. Are you going to answer the question? I mean, not a reasonable question to ask with the President of the United States who's involved, as this message seems to suggest, in some sort of a coercive conversation for business dealings by a son. Is that something, if he wasn't, then maybe you should tell us. So that. here's the thing, I, and I appreciate the question. I believe my colleague uh, at the White House Council uh, has answered this question already, has dealt with this, has uh, uh, made it very clear. I just don't have anything to share outside of what, what my colleagues have shared, uh, and so I would refer you to him and the, D and the DOJ. Just not going to comment from here. Text I will, all, what I can tell you is I know that my colleague has dealt with this. He, he uh, addressed this at the, at the White House Council. I just don't have anything else to share. I just, I just answered the question. I just answered the question. Yes or no, was the president involved in the shakedown attempt? No, I just an, Stephen, Stephen, I just answered the question. I just said, I just, this is, it's not up to you how I answer the question. I just answer the question by telling you my colleagues at the White House Council has dealt with this, and I would refer you to them. Go ahead. Can you just remind us what your colleague said from the White House Council so we have it? I would, I, would, I would refer you to them and they will share their statement with all of you. My question is about is your anything? statements from that podium. You've stated that the President stands by his comment from the 2020 campaign that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with his son. And you stood at that podium yeah. and you reaffirmed that. Do you stand by your reaffirmation? I, what I will say is nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And I will leave it there. Anything else, I will refer you to the White House Counsel. This is not a change? I just answered the question. You asked, You just asked me, do, does my statement change? I just told you nothing has changed. That's answering the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stephen, I'm calling on your colleague right now. Go ahead. Thank you. To, to follow up on my colleague, is there anything that you can say with regard to this text message and what the president's son was alleging? Was the president there or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the White House Council. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. Go ahead. Karine, have you spoken to the president about this? Have you asked him whether he was there with his son on July 30th? This is not a conversation that I've had with the president. Again, I would refer you to the White House counsel. Do you plan to have that conversation no. with the president? No. Did the president speak with the attorney general at all? I can't. I, I, I cannot say uh, if the president uh, had had a conversation with the Attorney General last night. What I can refer you to is the White House Counsel's Office as it relates to the uh, allegations. Uh, they've already addressed this. This is something for them to deal with. I refer you to the Department of Justice on anything else if you don't want to speak to the White House Counsel's Office. And there was reporting earlier in the week that after the plea agreement was reached by Hunter Biden, that the president felt relieved that that part of it was behind him. Is that true? Can you speak I can't to speak to that. Then? I cannot speak to the president's mindset. Again, I would refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. Documents, their authenticity nowhere challenged. Uh, that included a July 2017 WhatsApp message sent by Hunter Biden to Henry Zhao, a Chinese Communist Party official, which stated in its entirety, and I quote, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father, unquote. So just a couple of questions about this. First, does this not undermine uh, the president's claim during the 2020 campaign and the reaffirmations of that claim by his two press secretaries since then 
that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with him? No, and I'm not going to comment further on this. We're good. We're good. I, I'm not. James, James, let me just let me save you some. Let me save. Let me say. Let me save you some breath. If you're going to ask about this, I am not address. I don't. I know you do more than I'd like you to have. I am not going to address this issue from this podium. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.